My friends, it's Coach V. These are five amazing yoga poses and stretches for people 50 and older. Move well yesterday, today, and for many, many years to come. They're all body weight. Do them anywhere at any time. Share this video with somebody who is 50 or turning 50 or far beyond 50. They can be done anywhere and anytime. Are you ready? Click that like button and let's go to number one, the frozen down dog. Does that mean? Let me show you. We'll go through all five of them. We'll go through them together and you can do them anywhere, anytime. Do them every day. So we come into downward facing dog. We're going to stretch the whole backside of our body. Bend your left knee and sink this right heel down. It might touch the mat. It might come close. You want to press into the hands. We're going to activate a huge stretch down your glutes, your hamstrings, calves, and all the way up your back. Relax the shoulders. You'll get blood to the brain. Hold it for about 60 seconds if you can. The duration is always up to you, but these poses are here to make your life so much better in every way. Then switch sides. You can also sway it side to side to really stretch and open up your sides. Can I say side a few more times? Isn't this lake beautiful, by the way? There's a little break in the rain up here in Wisconsin, so I came out here to start this exciting series of workouts and exercises for people 50 and older. As I turn 50 in about three weeks, three weeks, hence my shirt. Oh, one more breath, sinking that heel down. You can also add a walk if you want to. Make it a little more dynamic, which means flowing, but stretching the whole posterior chain of your body. Loosen up the back, loosen up the shoulders, and rocking side to side. All right, bring it down. Whew, where are we? Shake out the arms, shake out the legs. Leg shake, leg shake. Uh, number two, we have lunge with a twist. Let me, let me show you. I can talk about it, but that really means nothing. It's the doing that matters. Getting that body limber and strong at any age. Take the right foot forward. You could drop this left knee down or stretch out the leg. We have the lunge. Feet are staggered. Bend in the knee. The knee is about above the ankle right here, stretching this back leg. This is the lunge 101. Big stretch right back here. Press the heel towards the ground. And then with the inhale, and of course we, we keep breathing after that, we bring this arm up. Here's the twist. It can be a frozen twist, like a Dairy Queen, or you can make it active. You can exhale, touch down, inhale, lift. Feel that? Sides, loosening up your lower back. Let that back pain, let that tension, that tightness, let it go. Let it go with these movements. Add movements. You can also pull the arm back a little further. Get into it, stretching the hip flexor and the quad. I'm gonna do a couple more of these twists. So nice, so nice. It's all here just for you. Excel, excel, never get old. Always move with youthfulness. And then of course, we always do both sides. Step it back, shake it out. Left foot forward. Use your hands to bring it up, that foot up if you need to. Oh, I gotta fix my shirt here. Getting into that lunge. Summer of 50. Very catchy, very catchy. Line up the lunge and then add the twist. Whichever variation you wish, it's all yours. Go by a lake, do it in your house, do it at the gym. My left shoulder blade's a little tight. Not from doing any fancy exercise, from getting out of bed this morning. I, I do all this act, all this stuff, then I roll out of bed. I'm like, oh, why is my shoulders got tight? How about that? Sounds like a, a good idea for a post. Huh. Good. One more breath, stretching that back heel. Bring the heel down. Calf stretch. The calves can be like dynamite. They get very tight. And then down, lunge with a twist. Now come to a seated position, shake it out. This isn't one of the five, but any chance you get, my friends, 
shake it out. Keep it loose, fingers loose, wrists loose, activating the ankles and the toes. Number three is a favorite of us all. Let's do it together, get the proper alignment. It's pigeon pose. In French, it's pigeon. In German, it's ah, okay. Ich habe folies vergessen. So, pigeon pose, come to down dog. They all connect together, you get the flows. This right knee is gonna come forward. Set it down. My right foot is next to my left leg. From here, if you can keep it right there, you can also bend this back leg if you want. Start here, we all start somewhere, right? <sighs> or bring the foot forward. Very important, as this leg comes forward, this left leg slides back. Hip flexor stretch, opening the hip, lower back. And you could do all these neat little variations. Start with the hands up here and rock it side to side. So you're getting a lift, getting a stretch up the back, giving that fatigued back all that release and strength. And you're opening up the front as well. Come up onto your fingertips if you like. Breathe into it. And you can also slide down, forearms down or arms all the way down using the beauty of your body weight to open it up. Open up the 24-7 gym. It's right here in the mud by Lake Neshonic in West Salem, Wisconsin. I learned how to skate for hockey out there on that lake. Whew, that was fun. Not in the summer, it's fall in. It's winter, it's hard ice. Rock it side to side. Feel that release in the glutes in this whole area here and perhaps areas I'm not even mentioning. And then switch sides. When you're ready, stretch it out. Left leg forward. Slide the right leg back. And breathe. You know, breathing isn't rocket science a lot. It's not even algebra two. It's inhale into the abdominals. Exhale, squeeze it out. Start there, pick it up. So here we are in that pigeon, rocking it, stretching this leg back. You can flex it. Oh, the jaw is loose, face is relaxed. Take a few more breaths here. Think of those friends you have who are 50, almost 50, over 50. How can you introduce these exercises to them? How can you do it? Well, you got this video, that's a good start. It has a link, just send it. I feel younger already. I almost feel 48. Shake out the arms and legs again. Number four. Eagle arms, we're going to attack our shoulders and upper back. Let's do it from a seated position, cross-legged. Let me give you a side angle here. This is exciting stuff to get the diagonal one. Take your right arm forward. Your left arm comes underneath, around. Maybe you're here, maybe you're here, or if you can, bring the hands together. So what it looks like is the fingers are reaching up the shoulders are going down and the elbows are pulling forward. You could feel your upper back and middle back expanding. You could feel your shoulder blades moving away from each other. And there's no, it, it's using your arms with physics and geometry, it's fantastic. You get more comfortable, inhale, lift up. Exhale, pull the elbows in. Feel the rounding of the back, feel that openness. And then of course, always a back bend to counteract that. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do it two more times. You could do this from a standing position, from a squat pose, from a lunge that we just did, from a treat. Well, I don't want to give that away because number five is going to blow your face off. That's the next one. Or at least give a gentle breeze on your face and then ooh, shake it out. I like pigeon, and then left arm forward, right arm underneath, find it, balance it out. Always a balance, shake out the leg. Here we are. Take five deep breaths here. You can do five breaths, you can do 10. Make it work for you. But challenge yourself to go a little further every time you do it. 
Maybe you move side to side, fingers up, shoulders down, elbows forward. Oh, there we are. That little kink in my left shoulder blade hates this stretch because the kink will be no more very soon. Oh, one more breath. I'm gonna pull in. All right, my friends, shake it out. We are on the eve of number five, and it is the tree pose. Balance. All these poses give us something essential for great movement, for great um, posture, for strength and flexibility. So open your hip. Either one is fine. You can mirror me. You can always place your fingers on a chair or against a wall if you need to or somebody that you want to knock down or bring this heel up above the knee or below above or below we open the hips we have this the so standing knees a little soft hands together fix your cap and this is tree pose find a focal point i'm looking at the camera i'm looking right at you i'm looking into your soul How'd you like the Coach Vig video? It was pretty good until he looked into my soul. All right, you can also bring the arms up. It's an extended tree. There's always variations. Once you have the foundation, you can explore, but keep that strong foundation. Oh, keep that strong foundation. You also have cactus arms. I mentioned you could do eagle arms in this, but maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, but it's there. It's there. All right, other side, shake it up. <sighs> Open the other hip. Shoulders relaxed. Did you get off my foot? I'm one with the critters here. <sighs> Above or below the knee? Careful not, you don't want to push into the knee. It'd be very bad, push it out of alignment. Oh, I don't want to think about that. And hands together. Softness in the standing knee. I'm gonna stare at that tree over there. <sighs> It's a soft gaze. I'm not uh, soul looking, I'm just relax looking into it. There's that peaceful strength. And of course we have balance, posture, height, core strength, because the core is the center, the abdominals, lower back, hips and glutes of everything. Arms up if you wish. Let's do two more breaths. Enjoy the sounds of the Wisconsin birds. Now the tree is looking into my soul. All right, down we come, shake it out. All right, that's five, my friends. What'd you think? Oh, do them anywhere, anytime, 50, 50 and older, or really any age, but as we age, these stretches, these poses become essential to keep us moving, to keep us strong, flexible, and living our days to our very best. If this helped, please click that like button. It helps this video get out to so many people. Subscribe, there's a button down there, and always click the notification bell to never miss one of my workouts, my friends. And as I said earlier, share this, uh, share this with a friend, someone who really needs some help. Their, their posture is bad their energy is low, they're depressed, they're sad. A little bit of movement, a little bit of these poses goes a long way. Trust me, if I don't do them, I get very upset and I am unable to see into your soul. God bless you, my friends. It's Coach Vig, Vogue, but with an I. My friends, if you want the extended version of that workout, plus access to hundreds of exclusive workouts not found on my YouTube channel, you need to try the Sean Vig Fitness app free for seven days. Cancel any time. Click the first link in the comment section below. Try it for seven days, and I guarantee you will be hooked.